I, I, I don't like this. Like, no. This is... This is not cool. This is not cool at all. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Got another one, okay. Lloyd Allen, security, September 13, 2013. I stuck my left arm in an automated door today. I was halfway across the western wing, no medical base around, and right there on the wall, my medical locker. I rushed towards it, struggling to open it. I would like to know whose brilliant idea was to lock emergency medical lockers. It took me 15 minutes to get it to the nearest medical bay with my bone sticking out of my arm. I almost passed out. I reported the incident to Terrence. Apparently, they had to lock the medical lockers due to the drug trafficking in the south wing. I stopped feeling sorry for Rick after this. Uh, yeah, I forgot. They said something about Rick, uh died um, due to drug overdose. I'm pretty sure, if I remember. <coughs> now, dude, why is this? I don't like this. No. Stop. Stop. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's loading. Huh? I hear that. Yeah, just make sure nothing comes through. The f I've got a weapon. I shouldn't feel that scared, but my God, is it still scary? This game is nerve-wracking. There. Lock them doors. Fuck. I heard that shit. Save. Ah. Don't know why I'd be up here, but I guess cool. All right. Whoa. Got some armor. card. Separating my personal life from my work is becoming more and more difficult. I wish I could have talked to her one last time to tell her I'm sorry. I need to get out of this place. Whose brilliant idea was to place... I need to get out of this place. Whose brilliant idea was to... Was it to place the warden's office right next to the lunatics in high security block? It's like a zoo day at night. I've been instructed to keep the butchery keys since it is apparently the only non-secured access to the upper floor. I'll keep it in my safe behind the boat. I'll forget. I'll, if I ever forget the code, I gotta do is duck. Oh. Oh. 6353. 65. Oh, fuck. Six three five three. Okay. Okay, so I've got four out of five keys. I mean, c cards. My God, I keep saying keys all of some reason. Did I just pick up another flashlight? Okay, so what now? I'm still looking to make sure I don't. Boom! There's a card. Okay. So 
next time we go back to there, we will give that man his key. Yeah, you right, you right. I got you, got knocked the fuck, fuck out. Oh shit. Oh damn dude, this is actually pretty freaky. Can't fuck with me. Who you think I am? God, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> okay. We got all we need from that place. We don't need to go back there for any reason. I hope. Because I'm not going back there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that is. That is just. Oh, fr 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 freaky, dude. So, it's the butchery. Okay, so this is the place. We've got the key. Uh, but I'm gonna go give that man his card. What the fuck? Oh, I heard that. I've got a weapon. I know I do. I just uh, I don't want to fool with you right now. I want to give this man his keys, my cards. Gosh darn! Ha! Ah, you found five cards, <laughs> and that is a nice deck you got here. Give me, give me. Nice. Now I can practice that trick. Hmm. I think I owe you something, boy. I keep my promises. Let me just get that hammer for you. Uh, now wait. W was it a hammer or a screwdriver? What you gonna do with it anyway? I mean, what do you need pliers for? You son of a bitch. No sense of humor. Oh. Uh, you got no sense of humor. All right, all right. Oh, I you get it. Oh, I you. see it because old people can't remember things. Oh, that's it. So it's a. Good. Now you see that vent with the four little bolts on the edges? Before we do anything, all I don't... All you gotta do uh, is unscrew them. Once all four are out, the vent should just fall. And you should be able to get through. Alright. Now back to that magic trick. Okay. Put this one like that. And then I take this one out. Remember. And then I put it back in and... Now wait. I can't do that shit with five cards. Man, you're stupid. Ah, well. I gotta go anyway. Duty call. Some nasty stuff to clean. Okay. Some ugly vermin to kill. Some chocolate bars to take. And some smokes to, uh... Uh... Well, smoke. Okay. You know, the usual. Yeah. I do hope our paths will cross again. Thanks for bringing those cards. I'll be going soon. I'll just see you when I... Yeah, yeah. Don't listen to me. Oh, I'm Please. sorry. I've kind of feel, I feel bad for not listening to him. Now we gotta go into the butchery, which is just right here, which isn't that far. Uh... Fuck it. That scared me. All I heard was... And I just started beating the first thing I saw. I find it funny how there was only one at the beginning. And now that I got a weapon. Oh fuck. What the hell's happening? There's a pipe. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a bunch of shit. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh fuck. I hear 
that. And I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, 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 okay. So you can't open that. You can't do anything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to go a little bit further into the madness we call this prison but I have to adjust my keyboard and mouse oh god what the fuck is that Hang on, give me a sec. God, well, I'm not expecting for a boss battle. Can, can I hurt him? Shit. No, I can't get anywhere near him. Let me just get him to charge this. Whatever this does. No, did I just lose my? No, I didn't. What the f boy? I just lost my melee weapon. Well, that's some, some bullshit, now isn't it? At least I can kick. Uh, what the fuck? can't go back, so let me heal. I kinda, you know, took some damage. Oh, there was a door right there. Oh, I can't do anything to him, man. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, this, those guys again. I think I saw Brian. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. Who the hell are you? Don't you see, dumbass? He's a prisoner. I say we shoot him. Calm down. He's not one of them. Oh, yeah? How do you know? I don't, but he hasn't gone for us yet. Look at him. Does he look like the others to you? No, he doesn't, but hell. Have you ever seen a crazy dude eating another crazy dude? Fucking vampires. Cut that vampire crap already. He wasn't eating him. He was biting his jugular. It's a primitive reflex to quickly take down your opponent. What about I show you a primitive reflex? Oi, calm down. Why Shit. don't you calm down, Terry? You don't get to tell me what to do. Oh yeah? And why is that? One, Junior, I am still chief of security. Two, I know this place better than you. Three, I was in the Falklands when you were still wet in the fucking bay. I know this base like the back of my hand, and I'm saying now that if we want to get out of here alive, we've got to work as a team, because we're at the bottom floor of a five-story underground complex that isn't even supposed to exist. Is everyone alive? Oh! I'm hearing commotion over there. What's going on? Nothing, Malcolm. Everything's fine. I'm a new friend. Ooh. So, okay, so I can move around. I'm going to be quiet for this. Why, oh, Malcolm, you stay safe. Malcolm says hello. I think you fucking heard. So, what now, Keith? <laughs> Alright, right, first off, let's introduce ourselves to the new boy. The mouthy one's Brian, and that's his little brother, Junior. Here's Matthew, 
Hector, and that's Takeo, the computer genius over there is Benjamin. Hello, just call me Ben, will you? As for the man over the radio, his name's Malcolm. He's also a security guard. He locked himself in the locker room over on the Eastern L wing. Apparently, he's the only survivor there. Oh, dude, that sucks. He probably ate all the others. Hey, just ignore him, Ben. My name's Terence. Call me Terry. We're all security guards here, but I'm the most senior. I'm the only one that's worked on every single floor in this place. So, what's your name, lad? His name is Jake. Well, Jake, I'm surprised you've lasted this long on your own. Well, now that that's been taken care of, how about we focus on doing something to get out of this bloody place? Yeah, right. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the electricity is not really working well right now. But it's not completely off, either. Yeah, what's wrong with the lights, anyway? Reminds me of a military compound I worked at once. It had various power backup systems. Oh yeah, you mean the MGPS? But they're only testing it. It's not really ready for the market. Not even for the military. What um, compound was that that you worked on? I don't know. When you work security, you don't ask questions. Do you know anything of what's going on here? That's true, they don't tell us anything. We're just supposed to keep the bad people in, the good people out, and protect all that's in between. So run them through the MGPS. Well, it's, It's very uh, simple. For big facilities... Oh, sorry, Matt. It's all right. Keep going. You know more about this stuff than I do. Right, for a simple generator, the system is one big grid, and the generator fills each of the grid squares with power equally. But when one square needs more power, all the others are equally reduced, which sometimes causes low tension, or even completely cuts it off. So this is when the multi-generator comes in. Instead of creating one big grid, it creates one grid per generator, which fills all the squares the same way. The point is, all the generators work together, and if one square needs more power, only one of the multi-generators will give the missing power. And this generator is usually the biggest, but it's also the most unstable. Unstable how? Well, the reason they were still testing the system is because there's still problems. You see, the basic system works with a series of five generators, four working to create the grids, and the fifth working to fill any greater demand. The problem is, if there's more power required than the fifth generator can provide, the other four try to help, which generally overdrives all the system and causes the fifth generator to crash. So if I get it, if the base wants more power than it can have, the actual generator who gives this extra power just dies? No, it doesn't just die, it reboots, but it needs to be manually activated. If I'm correct, then right now only four generators are working. That's why the lights are weak and the doors to the core are impossible to open. If we could somehow manage to activate huh. the fifth generator, then the base would be like before and we'd be able to hightail it out of here. <laughs> right, so let's do this. Yeah! Well, no, it won't be that easy. First, we need to find out where the generators, um, are. You leave that to me. I know where they are. Where's that? They're underneath us. Under us? I thought we were at the bottom floor, man. What the? This base is bigger than we thought? Yeah, it is. The five floors we all know about are the working base. The floors below are basically sewers. And the source of the drinking water. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. So, okay, right, okay, so, right, okay. We know the generator's below us, <laughs> so how do we go? <laughs> do we start digging from here, or what? No, you idiot. There's a proper way in. From where? From the core. So the question is, how do we get to the core with the power off? Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Ah! It's so obvious! Would you mind enlightening us? <laughs> I like Brian. Okay, the system gives power to the entire base right now, the doors included. So if we just lower the power demand, it might actually activate some of the unavailable parts. We can just cut the power to the first floor. Right. How do we do that? Well, from what I know, there's power relays on each floor. Relays? Yeah, you mean the power rooms. Yes, exactly. Okay, three power rooms in the south wing and two in the north wing. Okay. And guys, that means we'll have to go to each block and turn off its power relay. Won't that turn off the lights? All right, that's what we're gonna do. Ben, Terry, you stay here. You're too valuable to be at risk. Brian, you stay here to protect the place. Junior, Hector, Takeo, and the new guy, you're coming with me. We're gonna reset this place. Well, hold on. I ain't leaving without my brother. He's not going out there. Okay, Junior, you stay. But the others, let's go. Hold on, the power rooms are locked. I think I have a key around this. Hey, Baldy needs a gun. I suggest you pick up some gear, pal. Wait, you're giving him a gun? <laughs> We're not even sure we can trust him. I don't think killing us will do him any good. He needs us as much as we need him. I'm guessing it's in here? I was right. Ah, oh, here's the keys. Yeah, Matthew, this will open the power rooms, and this one will open the ammunition. 
All right, we'll stay in touch by radio. We'll split up into groups of two. Hector, take the new guy. You are going to take care of the south wing. I'll take care of the north wing with Takeo. We only have this radio post and two walkie-talkies. I recommend you hang on to them. Like I said, when you power down the relays, the lights will go out, except the security lights. So remember to turn on your flashlight and keep an eye out for batteries, too. Come in. You there. Okay. Well, we saw someone in trouble. So, in the I'm going to uh, end this here because it's starting to get late. So, I'll be doing some more uh, videos tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.